Uh, Nicky Hawkins outside the London Stadium. Welcome to the post-match reaction, which replaces the post-match pint uh, every day now uh, I have for this got season. A pint. All right, post-match half a pint uh, for Dan. Um, but yeah, post-match reaction uh, reacted to West Ham one, Burnley one. Um, didn't give a shit really. <laughs> did you start that going? Oi, Nicky Hawkins outside the London Stadium. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I very, can't wipe the smile off his face. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them. Even when we was one 0 down, I was sitting there. I was thinking to myself, I ain't really bothered. Like I'm still on the Euro. I'm on that. But look, today's game, it was there for the taking. Results went our way yesterday. I know United won, but Arsenal slipping up, Tottenham slipping up. If we'd have won today, I would have said, look, there's a chance, a little slimmer hope that we might be in that top four mix. But I think today's proved it. I think the players. I think their mind's on Europe now, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Look, we've still got to finish the season on a high, but it's a frustrating game because Burnley have always been that team down the years. They come here, they frustrate you, they know how to see out a game, and they're fighting for their lives down there, so it was always going to be difficult. Do you know what? I think, I think we played really well, but the finishing let us down. Mm. The final product of what was poor. We, we was on top for so much of that first half. Obviously, the injury happens. You know, he's all right. I think that killed our momentum. We was on the ascendancy at that point. And I think it was hard to really for us to get that back. But we still created chances. But, yeah, it's just a finish. I, that, I, think, I think there was a little bit... When you've got an injury like that, I mean, I've seen the pictures of, mm. of the injury and it's not good at all. I mean, mm. you can tell by the reaction of the players. Um, Vlasic was absolutely distraught with what he mm. saw. Um, you can tell with how quickly that the medical staff come on and how many come on, our injury is, uh, uh, how serious the injury is. Um, and I've seen pictures of it. His foot was around the wrong way. It's an ankle break. It's, a, it's, it's obviously a very, very nasty one. But I think there's, um, I, I mean, I, I know Dom sort of poo-pooed it, but I think there's a little bit of, when you look at the West Ham players, they're looking at that sort of injury. They know what they've got coming up. They know what they're going to be playing for. It's probably only kind of going to be able to do this um, unless we, you know, miracles out the next season, and they're thinking, fucking hell, I don't want one of them. Not the thing, yeah, the thing is, when you see an injury like that, whether you're rivals or not, it's a fellow professional football player, and he could be out for a very long time. And we, like everyone, wished him a speedy recovery. I mean, he's a, he's a good player, Westwood, and he's going to be a massive loss to Burnley with what they're fighting for. But you don't want to see that happen to any player. I don't care who they play for or what. That's that's a sick and you, as you said, mate, Vlasic's reaction. It was only Vlasic's reaction. It was a Burnley player's reaction. Declan Rice as well. You know, it, you don't want to see things like that on a football pitch, and, yeah. and we wish him a speedy Complete recovery. Accident, by the yeah, way. yeah, 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 yeah. It's just one of them unfortunate ones. Like, I think there might be something to, like you said, the players could look at that and go, geez, you know, I, you know, I can throw myself into a tackle and I miss the bloody semi-final or potentially a final. I, I, I said to you, I think because I think Vlasic had a really good game up until that point and after that, if I was Moisey, I might have taken him off because that can affect you seeing something like that. And he wasn't the same after that because I thought he started really well. He was making the runs, uh, him and Creswell were overlapping. Um, I just think when you see something like I mean, you go back years ago, do you remember David Boost when yeah, he done it yeah. for Coventry? And remember Peter Schmeichel's reaction, he had to have cancelling. And you, you, you don't want to see things like that on a football pitch. It's it, a shame. It, it, was, it was a nasty injury. But I think that killed our momentum, to be honest mm. with you. It wasn't long after that, after they scored. Yeah, that was one of their, like, it's the crossbar, doesn't it? And you think, geez, we got away with it straight away. And it goes in. And it, I, do you know what? I felt like that was going to happen. Mm. So I thought, you know, I said it, as soon as the game resumed, I thought I can see them coming and scoring against us. And that, that would be just our luck, really. But it's, I, I, I felt like we could still get back into the game and win it. But yeah, the chances. Yeah, the yeah. chances were there. So many chances. And, you know, Antonio today, and a lot of people think I, I don't like Antonio Dare. He's my favourite player. You know, besides Mark Noble in the modern era, he's my favourite player. But he can be amazing some yeah. games he can have the game of his life and in the next game he's terrible we've, we've said it before and we said it in there today me and Nicky both said it it's when he has to think about things that's when when it's instinct Antonio's brilliant at that when he has to think about it and the thing is in, in his mind now he's gone 13 14 games without a goal he's a striker always in his head now is I need to score so he's putting more pressure on himself and I think if he just, if he, listen, I understand his frustrations. He wants to score goals. Of course he does. That's what he's here to do. But look, he will get goals this season. He will go on a little run. He just needs one goal. He's, he needs anything. Just like his first ever goal for West Ham when it went in off his head when he fell in on the floor. That's what he needs. Something, something like that. I mean, it's, it's not that. It's, you can always sort of, sort of uh, like feel what the, the, the feelings are for a player around us. And I think you look at Antonio today when he was walking off head down, down the tunnel. You know, didn't really like clap the fans or anything because he's feeling in his mind 
you know, I think I've cost the team the three he's points there. He's beating himself up. Yeah. He's beating himself up. Yeah, that's what I think that is. Um, but you can always get a, get a grasp of what's going on with a player because there was pe there's people around us, and like you know, he, he, he done one bit before all the all the you know the glaring chances when he turned in the box. And you know, earlier on this season, that goes in the bottom corner, and he, he didn't. He, he got blocked by the defender, and went out, and again, fucking hell, you should have done it. And there was no other option but to shoot. So he, you know, you hear these people around you, yeah, you get. But that is going on all around the ground, and he, he hears things like that. You know, he can hear things like that, and that's what that's. I think that's what's not frustrating him, but I think that's what's getting him a little bit down. We've got to get behind our player. I mean, he had some opportunities today. He's got to put. He has got to put one of them away, but. The longer this goes on, the more worried I am for him, to be honest. The thing is, I don't mind when I look at games like Leon and how we progressed and Everton and things where he's not scoring, but he's massively yeah, yeah. influential. You don't mind that. And he could take away and go, do you know what? I haven't scored, but I've helped the team. Today, he wasn't very influential at all. It sort of killed his positioning. He killed some of our chances off. He again, out on the wing, drifting out on the wing a lot. And you just think... It's one of them bad games, and you know him. Next game, he'll probably come and have a have a whirlwind. But he needs to find that consistency. If he don't score, I don't mind as long as he has a good game. Thing is with Antonio, as long as he's on the pitch, you always know that he could create something, or a chance could fall to him, or he could go one on one with someone and beat a player. And that's uh, look, we all, everyone wants Antonio to do well. Everyone wants him to get that goal. But today, I think. Bowen as well, I think he was a little bit off. I think Suchek had a really good game. Yep. You know, I thought he played really well. He had uh, a good chance to save Bowen, didn't yeah. he? That one um, outside the box, didn't mm. he, when it comes to him and you think, geez, and Pope, Pope listen, he was Yeah, Pope, Pope's a great goalkeeper. And, and the thing is, as well, I think the back four, Diop and um, Dawson had another good game uh, together. They've got to get that partnership working because they're going to be playing together a lot. Uh, and, that, and listen, they might even be that starting centre-back in the European semi-final. So they need to get that connection. Um, it's just a frustrating games day. I mean, we're all coming here, you know, you have a great night like we did on Thursday, and then you come here, you're playing a team at the bottom. They've, we've got to remember as well, they just sacked their manager. Yeah. So their players now are all, they're, they're lifting, they're up for it. So, look, it's, it's a frustrating game, but, you know, we didn't lose it. Listen, yeah, I think you always get them European hangovers. After big nights, you know, Crowd, the crowd were good today. I thought the crowd were decent today. Um, I thought it would be a little bit more quiet than that, but it wasn't. It was quite loud today. Um, well, due respect to the Burnley fans for coming down. No trains and all that, but you've made a, a, a long old journey. So, yeah, on a Sunday, that ain't easy, mate. Easter Especially Sunday. Easter, yeah. It's great um, support, you know. As you said, they've not always had a big following, but, you know, them fans that turn up today to follow their club, as the you said, no trains. Will, people will look at the empty seats, mate, but you've got to look at the nah, look the at the people ones, there. The ones it that don't matter if there's 20 of them there. They still made that effort and, yeah. you know, fair play to them. Yeah, fair play to them. But, yeah, it, it, it's it's one of them games, isn't it? You, uh, listen, you, uh, we could have got beat 6 nil here. You wouldn't wipe the smile off my face. Huh. I'm still absolutely fucking As long fucking as they buzzing. keep putting the performances in Europe, like, I don't care if we lose every game to the end of the season if we go and win it. Like, mm. that's literally the be-all end-all. But we do want to... We do want to stay in within around that. We, need, we need that security blanket. Yeah. yeah, that's what we need. But the thing is, it seems like no play, no team really wants it. Yeah, so everyone, everyone's bottling can, it yeah. at the moment, isn't it's they? It's like you can afford. You to think you think it. Arsenal are going to go on a run? They drop back. You think Tottenham are going to go and then they get a result like yesterday? Man yeah. United two 0 up, they two all, yeah. and they just about beat Norwich. It, it, it's look. How many games left now? We have got seven games left Four, now. I think we've got six, six games. Six games left. So there's still a few points to pay for. So, ooh. Yeah, we got. We've listen. We've got to play Arsenal. Um, yeah, we've got Arsenal, which is going to be a huge game, and we've got um, some 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 on paper easy games. We've got Norwich. I know that Chelsea. We've got game. City. We've got Chelsea. So we've got some difficult games. I think these players now it gets to this stage of the season that you start thinking, I don't want to get injured. I don't want yeah. to miss out on them European nights. So you, if they pull out of a tackle, you can't really blame them. But as fans, Zuma as well, yeah, as fans, we want to see them put in the tackles. But Declan Rice today, another good game from him, uh, taking the ball forward, trying to create something. I think when four now was come, when Ben Rama come on, you know, it's same again. He's trying to create things. I thought he was um, alright. Yeah, I thought he done well. We like thought he scored, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened. Hey. Nicky jumped up. Went, yes, I followed him, and I was like, hang on, let's not even give yeah, it. He looked like he chipped out of the goal. <laughs> Yeah. I could see it, mate. You know, Do you know what? These, these sort of games are good for a player like Ben Rama when we're going to have more of the possession. He's got mm. more time and more I think you should have got create. more time, yeah. if I'm honest, today. I've, do you know what? I, again, I look at a game like today and I think 
should Moyes be rotating the, the squad a, a little bit more to get those players that aren't so jaded from Europe, that mm. aren't getting the opportunities, and give some fresh legs and some players that are maybe a little bit hungrier for the Prem games who aren't necessarily going to play in Europe. Yeah. It was easy. It's easy for us to say it now, but I, when I see the starting lineup, I was expecting to see Ben Rama in it, and I was a bit surprised when I see Vlasic starting. But I thought, do you know what? As you said, you've got to rotate, give him a chance. The thing Burnley is, mate, at home. You get into this point in the season now. You've got two massive games in Europe coming up. Yeah, two of them. You get through that, you're in a final, right? Anything can happen between now and the end of the season. The people that you're sitting there ignoring every week may be the ones you need to start and, and have to rely on to win you the cup. Yeah. So, like, I, I would, I would be giving a couple more players. Well, Yarmolenko yeah. proved it, didn't he, this season? Yeah. Yeah, Yar Yarmolenko definitely got to get a chance. Like I said, if you if you rest Bowen and put Ben Rama and Vlasic and Yarma, so you rest Antonio and Bowen, two very vital players for us. And and I think those other players with them, well, they'll be more up for it because they haven't just played in Europe. Maybe they want to prove themselves that they should be playing in Europe for us. They yeah. want to try and play themselves into the team. So Obviously, I think he should rotate yeah. a bit more. It's nice that Suchek got himself a goal today. Um, he'll be over the moon with that. Uh, rescue us a point so look it's, it's, it's frustrating mate but look let's be honest we didn't lose we're in semi-finals of Europe you know we're, we're still smiling everyone in here today was buzzing it was nice it's nice to see and it's about time we enjoyed these days at days like this at the football yeah. club Yeah. And, uh, there's still a lot more football to play this season but we've got two massive as you said two massive games against Frankfurt uh, in the Europa League and listen we get through that mate we're in a major final Oh, no. Massive. Just got to win it. Just got to win yeah. it, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much. But also, us. just before we yeah, go, man. we did notice that there was a few things going on in the crowd today where the ambulance. Yeah. So let's hope that them people are right as well. I don't know what was going on. There's a couple of incidents um, on one side of the pitch and then in the Bobby Moore as well. So I'm not sure what happened, but there was emergency services rushed over there. So hopefully they're all right. And also the, the steward that got injured. Yeah. yeah you missed it, mate. He played a back pass and he, he, I think he hobbled off injured. I think he's out yeah, for the did. season. Right in front of me, he tries to kick it and goes Wee! right on his ass. And we're all laughing. He gets up and he's up it. And, and he's, oh, Astra Goo Goo. Have you had an injury at work? Yeah. Call us out on yeah. 0800. Astra Goo Goo. Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, we're ready yeah, to believe no, you. So we all think in our eyes, all right. And you could see he's in, the geezer was in agony. He's broke his ankle. I'm telling you. But it's typically everyone was it was something everywhere. Yeah, it was it was, uh, it, was a, it was a weird it was a weird game today. But yeah, look, go on, mate. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll be building up towards the Chelsea game next week. Go and check out all the fan cams. Uh, check out Friday Night Point if you ain't already seen that. Uh, the new episode of the podcast is already up, uh, and the new one will be on Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. We could call it Tuesday. It'll be up Wednesday. So keep your eyes out for that. And um, other than that, it's only one thing left to say. Yeah, come, come on, on you irons. irons.